Just the, what are your thoughts about worship and singing? Well, the book of Psalms is full. The book of Psalms is a songbook of worship. So yes, you can sing. But here's something I think would be very important for you to understand. If you ever write a book on the doctrine of God, you're going to notice something very unusual. What I mean by the doctrine of God is you write a book on, on all the Bible teaches about the attributes of God. You know what you're going to discover? that more than 50% of your entire book will come from the book of Psalms. You will find most of the texts about the attributes of God in the book of Psalms. So our singing ought to be theological. And if you are going to have a worship leader, if you are going to do that, he, he needs to be a theologian. He needs to know God. And he needs to walk in the fear of God and holiness probably even more than the one who preaches the Word. It is a terrible thing that we do in churches today with regard to worship because we do not know the fear of God. A young boy has a guitar and he can sing well. Let's let him lead worship. We ought to realize that in the book of Leviticus, God killed two worship leaders because they did not worship him conform to the Scripture. Worship is a dangerous thing. Another thing that we need to realize is this. Worship is supposed to be didactic. It is supposed to be a tool for teaching. Let me read a text to you. In Colossians uh, three sixteen, it says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. So worship springs forth out of someone who is saturated by the word of God. With all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another, with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So the purpose of singing in the church is first and foremost to bless God. Secondly, it is didactic to teach those who are singing, to encourage them, admonish them, and to even be, I, I suppose, a witnessing tool for those who are listening that are unbelievers. This is a problem I have with much of the modern music. Not all of it, but a lot of it. They don't follow these principles. It's more about feeling. I'm going to be very honest with you. And if you get angry with me, just forgive me. I'm an American. I'm rude sometimes. Much worship in the churches today is nothing more than a celebration of flesh. It is an exercise in emotion. If you begin to feel the presence of God during the high emphatic notes of the song, when the rhythm has been lifted up and the music is just glorious, and you only feel the presence of God then, it's not the presence of God you're feeling. I have known people, some of the holiest people I know, that will sit down and worship. They have no music. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but they have no music. Someone will say, let's sing hymn number 52. And they'll start singing. And then another person will say, after it's over, what about hymn 103? And they'll start worshiping. They are some of the godliest people I know on this planet who understand worship deeply. And yet I'll bring people to that church who are all about the music. And they'll go, boy, this is dead. Because their idea of life is not the true presence of Christ. It's these amazing songs that lift your emotion. Now there's not necessarily something wrong with that. But be very careful. One time I was with a group and they said, God is here. Man, the music was going. God's here. I said, no, He's not. And they said, how do you know? I said, because most of you would be dead if God was here. Because He's a holy God. And you know the sin that's going on in this church. People get so in the flesh because they feel something. I'm going to stop here, but just realize this. I hear people... You know, I was shaving this morning and Jesus appeared to me. Did you stop shaving? They're so nonchalant about the presence of God. In the Bible, when the presence of God showed up... Woe is me, I am undone, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. 
You say, oh, that's the Old Testament. This is John on the Isle of Pethmos. Christ appears, falls as a dead man. I'm not saying that the presence of God is always like that. But when it's never like that, when it's always bless me, bless me, bless me, joy, 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 dance, 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 something is terribly wrong. Okay, next question.